uh, even similar fires have been set by the Bureau of Land Management and have burned onto private land, even killing cattle uh, and destroying buildings with no one being prosecuted, that they were prosecuted under anti-terrorism statutes. So I wrote to say, look, protesters here have a good point. These people are facing uh, what looks to be persecution from the federal government. Why are they being persecuted? What, what, are, they, what are they bothering them? in that part of Oregon. Well, wasn't that, that was created under Teddy Roosevelt. Under Teddy Roosevelt back in 1908 under an executive order. But the federal government has been trying to expand the size of that wildlife refuge. And it's engaged in various nefarious and practices to do so, including there's an allegation that in the 1980s, the government diverted some water on the land to, uh, to into these lakes in the region that overflowed their banks and flooded out about 30, uh, 31, 32 ranchers' homes and farms and causing them to sell out to the government, leaving the Hammonds as one of the few private landowners with significant land holdings next to this refuge. All right, hold it, hold it there, David French. David French is of National Review and explaining what is happening with the Hammonds in Oregon. And I'll tell you the way it's depicted elsewhere, and it's... Uh, it's troubling. All right, everybody. Time to tell you. Hearing me do that may actually regret having accepted the invitation to come on, but it's a, it's a risk you take. And uh, life is filled with risks. David French is a very important writer at National Review, where I am pleased to have. What, what, is, what is today, Tuesday? Also, my column's up today at National Review, my, my weekly column as well. David French, staff writer there, has written, uh, let's put his article up at DennisPrager.com so people can read about it. It does seem to me, reading both sides, that it is a clear case of government overreach. And that's a very scary thing because the government has unlimited power. And that is exactly what America was founded to prevent, is the overreach of government into the lives of the individual. Having said that, what is your take on the standoff right now with armed citizens uh, protecting that uh, area? Well, hey, it's pretty simple. Civil disobedience, yes. Violence, no. Uh, and I think this is an appropriate case for civil disobedience in the sense of, uh, of peaceful protest, even peacefully uh, taking over a building uh, that, because there are no, there is no legal recourse left to the Hammonds. They have, their appeals are over. Uh, they turned themselves in yesterday. They are fully at the mercy of the federal government. And this is that's exactly, given the gravity of the abuses visited upon them, I, I think this is a, entirely appropriate for civil disobedience. Now, 